Tesla's Gigafactory Texas 4680 battery production team recently hit an important production milestone. And with this update, it looks like Tesla is well on their way to mass producing 4680 batteries. And in addition, my source confirmed to me the reason for Tesla temporarily shutting down their Cato Road Pilot Battery Factory. And the reason is indeed good news. Stick around as I dive into these exciting 4680 battery updates. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Gigafactory Texas is producing Tesla's second generation 4680 batteries, or cyber cells, which Drew Baglino revealed to be 10% more energy dense than the generation one 4680s. These battery cells will be used in the Tesla Cybertruck, which is also being manufactured at Gigafactory Texas. So the success of the Gigafactory Texas 4680 ramp up is extremely important if Tesla is going to be able to mass produce this truck and to begin to meet the massive demand for that truck. As a reminder, we know that Gigafactory Texas is designed to have four battery production lines and the eventual capacity should be around 25 gigawatt hours per year per line for a total capacity of 100 gigawatt hours of batteries per year once again, once fully ramped up. With that being said, how is the 4680 battery production ramp going at Giga Texas? And will Tesla have enough 4680 battery cells to mass produce the Cybertruck? To answer that question, I wanna first step back and look at the updates that we've had in the past all the way to the most recent update. For example, as far as I can tell, 4680 battery production began at Gigafactory Texas around the third quarter of 2022. And by late September of last year, Tesla's Texas factory was producing around 10,000 4680 battery cells per day. And this is according to a video that was published by Dylan from Electrified on YouTube. Then on December 25th of 2022, Tesla revealed that they were able to produce 868,000 4680 battery cells in seven days. But that production number was between both Gigafactory Texas and their Cato Road facility in Fremont, California. The first official 4680 production milestone for Gigafactory Texas was shared by Tesla on June 16th. And this update revealed that the Gigafactory Texas team had built their 10 millionth 4680 battery cell that week. In the most recent update, on October 11th, Tesla shared that the Gigafactory Texas team had just built their 20 millionth battery cell, which is of course a huge milestone and gives us what we need now to really start estimating where Tesla is with their production ramp and how fast they are progressing. With that being said, let me put that number into perspective in terms of run rate and Cybertruck production. Then I want to estimate where Tesla's 4680 battery production should be by the end of 2024, when the Cybertruck will likely be in mass production. It is important to make clear here that this number, this 20 million battery cells is an accumulative total. It's not that Tesla built 20 million battery cells in a month or 20 million battery cells in a year, but that the team has built 20 million battery cells accumulatively. So with all the battery cells that Tesla has made since Q3 of 2022 at Gigafactory Texas, how many gigawatt hours have they produced and how many Cybertrucks could they build? If we assume that each second generation 4680 battery cell holds around 95 watt hours, which is approximately 10% more than the first generation's 86.5 watt hours, which is a number that was previously shared by the limiting factor on YouTube, then 20 million battery cells equals around 1.9 gigawatt hours. In addition, if we assume that each Cybertruck has an average 130 kilowatt hour battery pack size, which would equate to around 1,368 individual 4680 battery cells per pack, that would mean you could build approximately 14,620 Cybertrucks with 20 million battery cells. However, despite this number still being somewhat small, when you look at how long it took Tesla to get to the first 10 million and how quickly they were able to go from 10 million to their 20 millionth battery cell, Tesla's rate of production is speeding up quite a bit. For example, I estimate that Tesla started 4680 battery production at Giga Texas in Q3 of 2022. And for comparison, if we go off of the date that Dylan from Electrified on YouTube shared that Tesla was making 10,000 battery cells per day at Giga Texas, which was late in September, that means that it took Tesla over 260 days to go from start of production at Gigafactory Texas to building their 10 millionth battery cell. 
In comparison, from June 16th to October 11th, Tesla went from 10 million battery cells being built to 20 million battery cells, meaning that during that period of time, they built 10 million battery cells in approximately 117 days, which is a substantial improvement from before, meaning that Tesla is ramping up the speed of production. In addition, if you average Tesla's production out during that 117 days, that means that during that time, on average, they built approximately 85,470 battery cells per day. I'll talk about my estimates about how quickly I believe the ramp will go from here, but I just once again want to put that daily production number in perspective and uh, really compare it to where Tesla needs to be in the future. Once again, assuming 95 watt hours per battery cell, a rate of 25 gigawatt hours being built per year would require an average of approximately 720,981 cells being built per day. Building 50 gigawatt hours of batteries per year would require over 1.44 million battery cells being built per day, and 100 gigawatt hours of batteries per year would require an average of a bit over 2.88 million battery cells being built per day. Now, I do understand that the average of 85,000 plus during that 117 days, of course, that number is going to be less than the number that they're actually at right now. But once again, as you can see, Tesla has a long way to go, but the ramp is speeding up. With that being said, I now want to estimate where Tesla goes from here and how quickly I believe 4680 production will ramp up at Gigafactory Texas. Once again, from start of production to 10 million battery cells, it took Tesla 262 plus days to achieve that. However, to go from 10 million battery cells being built to 20 million battery cells, that took approximately 117 days. Moving forward, if Tesla is able to roughly half the time it takes to get to each subsequent 10 million milestone, which I believe is reasonable because of how quickly Tesla was able to go from 10 million to 20 million battery cells in comparison, I believe it's very possible that in 58 days, Tesla could build their next 10 million. The next 10 million could take 29 days. The following 10 million could take around 14 days. And once again, with a roughly 50% rate of improvement, going from 50 million battery cells to 60 million battery cells could only take seven days. At this pace, if you add up 58 plus 29 plus 14 plus seven, that comes to a total of 108 days. And if 108 days from now, Tesla is producing an average of around 1.4 million 4680 battery cells per day at Giga Texas, that would equal a run rate of close to 50 gigawatt hours of batteries per year, and 108 days from October 11th would be around January 27th of 2024, which is the date that Tesla could hit this milestone if they maintain roughly a 50% improvement in the time that it takes to build each subsequent 10 million battery cells. Now it is important to note that reality is not so clean and setbacks are bound to happen. So my official estimate is that for the full year of 2024, the Tesla team at Gigafactory Texas will be able to accumulatively build at least 30 gigawatt hours of 4680 batteries. But as I've shown, that could be a very low estimate and Tesla could be improving at a much faster rate than that and they could surprise me. Now going back to the Cybertruck and how many battery cells Tesla will need to mass produce that truck, as was written in this June 2023 Electric article, Tesla is apparently planning to produce around 375,000 Cybertrucks per year once fully ramped up. And according to my estimates, building around 375,000 Cybertrucks per year would require just a little bit under 50 gigawatt hours of 4680 batteries to be able to do that. And that's assuming an average battery pack size of around 130 kilowatt hours. Even if Tesla's 4680 production ramp slows down, the rate of improvement slows down, and they only hit around 25 gigawatt hours of batteries being built next year, that would still be enough to build over 192,000 Cybertrucks. So once again, it's impossible to really fully predict where Tesla will be by the end of 2024. But once again, as I've shown, Tesla's rate of production seems to be speeding up, which gives me a lot of hope for 2024. And I believe that 2024 will be a big year for 4680 battery production. With that being said, I now wanna move over to Tesla's Cato Road 4680 battery facility. In a previous video, I mentioned that according to one of my sources, Tesla's Cato Road 4680 battery factory would be temporarily shutting down for three months beginning in November. At that time, I didn't have official confirmation as to the reason for that shutdown, but I speculated that it was to allow Tesla to install new, much more efficient second generation 4680 battery manufacturing equipment in place of the old equipment. 
My source has now confirmed to me that this is the case. So Tesla will be installing second generation 4680 battery manufacturing equipment at their Cato Road facility. With that being said, with this equipment update, I think it's very possible that Tesla may be transitioning this Cato Road facility away from a pilot facility and into a regular battery manufacturing site, and that their pilot 4680 battery production activities will move across the road to the new building that Tesla recently leased. Initially, I believe the 4680 battery cells produced at their Cato Road facility will be used in the Cybertruck because Tesla is going to need every 4680 battery cell they can get their hands on to be able to meet the kind of demand that the Cybertruck has in the market. But I believe these cells could eventually be used in the Model Y once again, assuming a successful Gigafactory Texas 4680 battery production ramp, because Tesla would no doubt like to be producing the structural battery pack version of the Model Y once again, which is not available right now. But if equipped with Tesla's second generation 4680 battery cells, that vehicle could be offered in the future in roughly a 300 mile range version in comparison to the 279 mile version that was offered previously. Once again, the new facility that Tesla has leased across the street from the Cato Road facility in Fremont will likely be working on Tesla's third generation of battery cells and beyond. And in all reality, it does make a lot of sense to keep these facilities separate because I'm pretty sure Tesla will want to keep secret the details of the development of their next generation battery cells. With that being said, it is great to see that Tesla is finally picking up the pace when it comes to 4680 battery production, and more importantly, 4680 battery production at Gigafactory, Texas. Once again, I believe that we could see a meaningful amount of 4680 battery cells being produced next year, and it seems possible that Tesla will be able to produce enough to meet their demands for Cybertruck production. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.